Okay, so OnePlus Nord CE4 gets another huge update of Oxygen OS 15, which brings few fixes and there are few things which OnePlus haven't mentioned in the change logs, but they have done some changes here. Also, they have introduced a new AI feature. We'll talk about every change, what OnePlus Nord CE4 gets with Oxygen OS 15 Open Beta 3. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus Nord CE4, which I've already updated to the latest build of Oxygen OS 15, as you can see here. And this is the third close beta update for OnePlus Nord CE. And if you see here with this update, it also got 5th November 2024 security patch. Remember guys, if you aren't a part of close beta program, you won't get this update. I'm a close beta tester right now for OnePlus Nord CE4 Oxygen OS 15 builds. So I did receive this update. You can see update size came in as 922 MB over close beta 2. Now before moving ahead, if you guys find our content useful to you guys, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. First, let's talk about the change logs, what OnePlus have mentioned. After that, we'll cover the things which they haven't mentioned in the change logs along with the performance performance part. So here if you go to the about section, you can see all the fixes are layered to system. First one says improve system stability and performance. This will get to know once we start using the device as a primary phone. After that, they have fixed an issue that might cause some app crashes. Personally for me, till date you can see so many applications have been installed and there are no issues related to app crashing. There are few applications which doesn't work. One of them is this Cisco app. This is not working with Android 15. It's a compatibility issue guys, nothing clear to OS. And after that, this VPN application. Right now you can see this is installed, but if I uninstall and then go to Play Store, you won't find this application. This application will also have the compatibility issues. You can see this app isn't available. It was installed on Oxygen OS 14 and later on I upgraded to Oxygen OS 15 without wiping the data. That's the reason this application was installed. So related to applications, there might be some applications having compatibility issues. After that, they have fixed an issue wherein some apps icon might overlap with elements while pulling down the quick setting tiles. And here they're talking about the photos application. I did try out this thing before the update. For me, there was no issues at all. And later on, they have extended the battery life in some scenarios. So the battery life and the performance part will get to know once we start using the device. And like OnePlus had mentioned the app optimization feature that every time pops up soon you boot up your device. Only if app optimization is required. So if you see this pop up, make sure you run it. But it's sad to see that OnePlus haven't added the blur effect in the app drawer or even in the notification panel or control center. So I hope they do add this thing in upcoming updates. I mean beta builds, open beta builds or stable version because the app drawer doesn't look good without the blur effect and the same thing goes in the folders but here for the folders they have added a new option i mean the animation option if you go to more settings of the home screen scrolling down under animation effect you can see now we have an enhanced version of animation for the folder opening if you choose the standard one this is how it looks you can see the preview and i do prefer enhanced one which gives a nice effect while opening the folder so this is the new enhanced animation effect what they have added on android 15 close beta 3 and you can see how good it looks and it's kind of similar what we get to see on oneplus 12 the only thing which is missing and that's the blur effect otherwise the animation or you can say the pop-up transition is exactly similar which you can see here and one feature what OnePlus have added and a lot of OnePlus users were waiting for it and that's the support of VONR. If you see the status bar on OnePlus Nord CE4, it do says VO 5G. Currently, it's only supported by Geo SIM card. And for those people who are not aware about what's VONR, so it stands for voice over new radio and this technology allows voice call to be made over 5G network. So for example, if you are making a call on 5G network, your network won't be switched to 4G while making calls. VONR has faster call correction time. It also provides clear voice quality due to lower latency. And how many of you guys were waiting for VONR service on your OnePlus smartphone? Let us know in the comment section below. I've seen a lot of comments users asking about the portrait mode 2x support. So yes guys, even on Oxygen OS 15 closed beta builds, we do have the support of 2x in portrait mode. And sadly, we don't have the app opening and closing animation on OnePlus Nord CE4 even with the third beta of Oxygen OS 15. Also talking about the AI features in the gallery application, they are still not being added on third build of Oxygen OS 15, but they have added a new toggle in the gallery which is called as filter. Tapping on it, you can filter to show photos, videos and your favorites. This feature is not even available on OnePlus 12 running Oxygen OS 15. So let me open up the photos application and here you can see we don't have any filter option which is added on Nord CE4. So this is one change what you'll find in the photos application. Now one AI feature have been added in the recorder application and that's not even available on OnePlus 12. So here you can see I have a recording, I'll just mute it first and you can see here we have only three options which is mark, photo mark and marks. But here if you see on OnePlus Nord CE4, now we have an option to summarize the entire recording. Tapping on it, it will ask you to select the language, I keep it on auto, tapping on start 
now you can see it says generating and we also have the live capsule in action which shows generating summary so we'll wait for the summary to be generated so once summary is generated you just tap on summary it will redirect you to the notes application where you have the summary of that particular audio recording and from here you can also tap on auto transcribe where you have the entire version of that recording in the text form so this ai feature have been added on oneplus Nord ce4 with this latest update and if you have any recording which have been summarized you will see this icon on the main home page in the notes application also they have done a slight change where you can see the notebook icon is towards the left hand side which was previously on the right hand side on oneplus 12 tapping on it will open up other options like my notebook and other stuff and here also they have done a change previously if you don't have any notebook available we used to see this no notebook and an empty tile but here if i delete this you will see it's now way more organized if you don't have any notebook it won't show you any tile here until unless you have any notebook this empty box won't appear so this might be a bug which oneplus have fixed it on this latest build and one fix what oneplus haven't done that's layer to volume panel which i've been already mentioning in my previous videos also we still have the older style volume panel on oneplus Nord ce4 and i'm not sure whether it will be changed in future updates or not because it's not a major deal to make changes in the volume slider it could have been done with the first beta build itself so if you are new to this channel and if you haven't seen the new volume slider so first time if you tap this is how it looks and soon you tap second time or third type you'll see a thin line which is not appearing on oneplus Nord ce4 and the last change what i noticed and that's in the oneplus file manager so for example if you tap on this cleanup icon you have a different option on oneplus Nord ce4 i do have a screenshot so on Nord ce4 we do have this option called system boost but this thing is not present on oneplus 12 i'm not sure it's specifically for oneplus Nord ce4 but you get a different option under recommended optimization this thing i haven't seen on my oneplus 12 so this was the last change which we discovered now let's talk about the performance part and compare the benchmark results towards the right hand side these are done on the previous build so if you take a look at the geek benchmark application scores they are almost identical not much of difference with antidote benchmark application on this latest build slight lower scores are to be seen but again not a huge difference but again we saw a lot of throttling issues on this latest build previously also there were throttling issues but maximum cpu had throttle 75 percent here 66 percent and if you see average gips on the latest build and previous build they are almost identical which is 2,99,000 with wildlife extreme stress test almost identical scores stability scores are 98 percent so guys this was all about the new update of oxygen os 15 for oneplus Nord ce4 if you guys have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video